Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn here with a video on how to use the warehouse tiles that come with Fallout 4's Contraption Workshop. So if you played Far Harbor, you got the new barn tiles, and here I am at Spectacle Island. If you watched my Spectacle Island build, boy howdy, I sure used a lot of barn tiles for my build, and that's because the barns were really the best building structures the game had until now. Now we have warehouses. But the thing is that the warehouse tiles are basically reskinned versions of the barn tiles. So take a look at this. On the left hand side we have the new warehouse wall, and on the right hand side we have the barn wall. As you can see they're the, they're the exact same height <clears throat> they've got a similar lip down here, and uh, all they've done is reskinned it. And in fact, that is true of the entire warehouse set. Almost every single item in the warehouse set is just a retextured version of the barn set. And in fact, some of the pieces are straight up copies. Here's the floor for the warehouse. Does it look familiar? Every single piece in this floor is from. Far Harbor, including this piece, which actually costs more to build than the one that comes with the barn, and yet it's the exact same piece. <clears throat> that said, many of the pieces are unique, like they took the entire uh, corrugated metal look of the original shacks that came with Fallout 4, and they took the principles that they learned from making the barn tiles, and they applied them to the shacks, which I actually really appreciate, because I don't want to build a big red barn for every single building that I want. Some of these buildings worked great as barns, like that one, because I actually have Brahmin in there, but some of them would have been nice to be shacks, like that one, which is just a bathroom. So I, for one, welcome the new texture changes. It makes things uh, much more versatile. But because it's so similar to Far Harbor, I have no need to go through every single piece in the game. Please watch my barn tile tutorial video, which is linked right here. Clicky, clicky, clicky. And it goes through how to use every single piece, including the barn pieces, the walls, the roofs, and even every single miscellaneous piece. You'll learn how to use this tile set by watching that video. That said, I do have some new content for you in this video because the warehouse comes with some unique stuff, and I'm going to go through them right now. And the first is this. Look at this. Finally, after months and months and months, we get greenhouse walls. And look, it's not even broken. Every single window in every single tile set that came with this game has broken windows, except the greenhouses. This allows us to finally, for the very first time, build a greenhouse that does not have broken windows. Look at these windows that came with Far Harbor. They're all broken with the exception of just a few. <clears throat> and that was a big bummer to me, but what are you going to do? I mean, that's just the way the game is. But finally, we can build greenhouses that have non-broken windows, and so I'm really excited about that. So, uh, let me show you what I did. I built a greenhouse right here, and uh, it I used really, really good. I made great use of all of the different greenhouse tiles that are in the game. Um, I didn't go all crazy and elaborate, but I made it pretty tall. I used the foundations that came with the warehouse tiles, and... Uh, it also comes with these iron stairs that you should recognize because they're right, they're right from the barn tile set. But coming on up, uh, you notice that we do have a unique door, and uh, that's new. This is a new door, and sadly, the window is broken. <clears throat> but I think that there might be a new door that came with the warehouse set that does not have broken windows. So let's take a look. That's broken, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's sort of a, a messed up rusted iron door with uh, broken windows. And then the other doors are these that look like they're better for greenhouses. And that does have a broken window, and that does also have a broken window. So sadly, they don't have any doors without broken windows, and then they just give you the same old barn doors all over again. Now there is this one, which is brand new, but I'll be talking about about that a little later. And then it also has uh, cupolas that are reskinned to look like uh, good sort of rusting iron cupolas. Uh, which look pretty nice. They fit in with the whole warehouse tile set. And uh, like I said just a moment ago, exactly the same roof tiles that came with the barn set with Fallout 4 Far Harbor. So please watch that video to get a tutorial on how to use those. Um, that said, it does come with some new stuff. Here are some pillars that are made out of solid iron. And they work really well. <clears throat> so uh, Far Harbor came with some nice painted white wooden pillars. And these are really great iron pillars. And they snap. So you can go all the way up some short thick ones and then some longer ones 
which snap on top of each other, so that you can build canopies, balconies, quite a myriad of different things with these pillars. And now, one of my favorite things is I built this uh, I built this shack. So now, now that I made my greenhouse with the greenhouse tiles that came with the workshop, I built an actual workshop shack. And this looks like the kind of shack that you would find in the wasteland in the vanilla game, right? Um, so we're finally getting some of the stuff that the developers had for the longest time to build their uh, their little dungeons. And what's really cool about this is we finally get an electronic garage door like the one we find at Red Rocket and the way it works is after you place it hook up uh, be sure to put a switch on the wall you could have a, a, a walking switch you could put a switch on the floor and walk over it any kind of switch you want hook that up to electricity and then hook the switch up to this conduit on the wall itself and then whenever you flip the switch the garage door opens. Isn't that sick? <laughs> oh, I love it. It looks so great. Uh, now, uh, there's no way to close it from the inside. I suppose you could try wiring another switch on the inside. Oh, that's what you could do. You could wire another switch through one of these broken windows to the wall there and then uh, <clears throat> access it from the inside. That's what you could do if you wanted a, sw a switch on the inside. But uh, then this uh, work set comes with uh, support for lofts, just like the Far Harbor barns do. So I built a little loft up here, and these are actually railings that came with the scaffolding set. That's right. I mean, there's no need to get upset with Bethesda for basically reskinning the entire uh, Far Harbor barn set because they came out with a bunch of other sets which I'm going to be producing videos on in the near future. They've got the scaffolding set. They've got the boxcar cut tile sets and I uh, those uh, railings that I used inside that shack Shack came in the form of these scaffolding railings from the scaffolding set. But that's for another video, ladies and gentlemen. I'll do an entire video on how to build scaffoldings and how to build your boxcar player home in a future video. In this video, I just wanted to show off the small differences between the warehouse tile set and the Far Harbor barn tile set, and that is it. So I hope this was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Please subscribe for more Fallout 4 and Contraptions content, and uh, thank you so much for watching.